Hello friends, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to list all twin primes that are less than a positive integer n in C++. But as usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. If p and q are both primes and q equals p plus 2, then the pair p, q are called twin primes. For example, 5, 7 are twin primes. Devise a computer solution that lists all twin primes that are less than a positive integer n. To the algorithm, you are going to take the positive integer n from the user. So we say input n. Now let's a for loop that runs from i equals 2 to n. And then step 1. Then if the i value is prime and the i value plus 2 is also prime, then we print i and i plus 2 are twin primes, n if and n for. Now the reason why we have this for loop is that we are going to check all the numbers that are less than the value n starting from 2. We are not starting from 1 because obviously we all know 1 is not a prime number. So we are checking all the numbers that are less than n from 2 to the value n itself to see if all these numbers are prime numbers. And if they are prime, if I increase that prime number by 2, then what are the prime num the twin primes I am going to get? So if that i is a prime number and that same i value plus 2 is also a prime number, then I have a twin prime. Now this is prime we have over here is a boolean function. That means we have declared it somewhere else. So if I declare its prime here, now for a number to be a prime number, that particular number must have a particular a certain number of factors, meaning it must have only two factors. So I'm going to declare an empty variable called number of factors that is going to store the number of factors of any number we are going to input as n. Now I am going to check all the values that are less than n. How many times they go into n? And if they go into n without any remainder, then I should increase the number of factors by 1. Then outside the if statement, if the number of factors is equal to 2, that means if the number has only 2 factors, then it should, be, it should return true. So it is going to check from i. So the value of i over here will become the value of n in its, its prime. So the value of i will come into n and it will be checked if that i value has only two factors. If it has only two factors, then it means it's a prime number. Then it's going to increase that i value by two. So i plus two. And i plus two become the new n in its prime. And the i plus 2 also be checked. If it has only two factors, then it's also a prime number. Then it's going to print i and i plus 2 are twin primes. So in this for loop, i equals 2 to n, we are going to increase it. So i equals 2, step 1, will become i equals 3. So if you check 3, it's prime 3, and then it's prime 3 plus 2, 5. It's going to check them if they are two prime numbers. If they are prime numbers, then it comes here to print them. That means if i is a prime number and i plus 2 is also a prime number, then it's going to print them as twin primes. Alright friends, now let's convert our algorithm to code in C++. So in the before the int min function, I declared the s prime and then int n on top. Then after that, I declared the int min function and then I said int n issued declare n as an integer. Then I ask the, the user to enter the value of n. Then I set the for loop that is to print the twin primes. That is, if i is a prime number and i plus 2 is also a prime number, then you should print i and i plus 2. Then I end the code over there. Then the is prime I declared on top. Now I define what is prime is. Now is prime is going to check if the value of i is a prime number. So the int n we have here will be replaced by the value of i. So you can see s prime i here, and then we have s prime int n. So it means the value of n should be an integer. And we already know i to be an integer. So you should put the i over there and check if it has only two number of factors, or it has only two factors, then it's the prime number. So you can see return number of factors to be two. So this if statement here is going to check if the remainder after i goes into n is going to be zero. That means if it has no remainder if it goes into it. Alright, so now let's input some values and then 
let's see how we are going to print our twin primes so I'll, i said i'm going to print all the twin primes that are less than 100 and it says 3 and 5 are twin primes 5 and 7 twin primes 11 and 13 twin primes 13 and 17 and 19 29 31 41 43 59 61 71 and then 73 are twin primes so here we are listing all the twin, the twin primes that are less than 100 all right friends so that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video till then a party -a.